Hey folks, Rob Bushway here. I've got Motion Computing's CL900 tablet PC. This is a touch and active pen uh, tablet PC. Um, we're going to do a little bit of handwriting uh, to sample this for you. Uh, this is running Ntrix 3.5 uh, generation um, hardware. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch OneNote and we'll just do a little bit of handwriting. My personal experience is that uh, the palm rejection support on the CL900 has been much better than other older Intrig supported devices like the X-T2 and even the Slate 500. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll do some writing here. Just kind of watch my my hand. I'm gonna, I may end up moving it up and down and I've noticed that if I um, if my hand touches first before the pen comes into range with the digitizer at that point I may I may generate a um, a touch aspect or maybe a vector or like some stray ink um, but it, it does not happen very often so this is a test note now I'm going to lift up my hand, go back down here, and it's holding up quite well. Test note. Written on the CL900 tablet PC. Intrig based. No, no, notice I just had a little pop-up there that generated a, um, a touch. But I have not gotten any stray ink at all. Um, I tend to write with my hand rest, resting on the screen. And I just had another touch um, event activated, but still no stray ink at all. The pen is also a little bit quieter than the Slate 500. Um, still not as quiet as as a Wacom system, but it is quieter. At this point, if I would have written on um, older Intrig units, I would have had stray ink all over the place. It would have been a mess. And I am running this on uh, the dual mode setting. Intrix supports auto mode and dual mode, and um, the dual mode will allow it's supposed to sense, um, have a better sense of touch and pen at the same time, whereas auto mode will allow you to double tap and then turn the pen on, on and off. Actually, turn touch on and off with the, with a double tap. So that's some sampling handwriting. Let's do a little bit more. Um, if I'm going to get any vectoring, it's going to be maybe 1%, maybe 2% of the time. That's an arbitrary number, but um, this is the CL900 tablet PC active pen is great so there you go and you notice I can I can hover around um, show me how you can do this on an iPad and this is just great you can't can't beat an active pen so anyway this um, that's some sample handwriting you notice that I did get uh, some false touches there but I didn't I have not gotten any vectoring I have experienced some vectoring or stray ink every now and then and other tests that I've done but as you can see it's it, it is very rare so this is Rob Bushway uh, I just wanted to thank you for checking out this handwriting demo and I'll be sure to try to post some more demos here later